Ah, another work day doing my best processing 2.8 quadrillion mathematical calculations per second. I am the best supercomputer ever. I can process information 10 times faster than your mom's home office computer. Supercomputers like Dewey take up entire rooms because they're so big. They receive and store data from millions of collectors like buoys and oceans and satellites in space every second. So Dewey can see changes happen everywhere at all times. Dewey can process changes in temperature, pressure, wind speed, and much more to give detailed predictions for your local weather in an instant. He's the reason you can get up-to-date weather information anywhere in the world at the press of a couple buttons. Hello Dewey, is there anything on the radar for today? All quiet on this satellite over here in North America. Wait, maybe this buoy over here in the Pacific Ocean has something. No, it did not. What about the weather balloons over Europe? Nothing? I'm so bored. Nothing has happened all day and most models I've created end up being wrong. Yes, but what about the model that predicted the 50% chance of rain in places like Pensacola, Florida? You are right. Models are there to predict what may happen. It allows responders to be ready in areas most likely to be hit. And what about those special alarms in the Midwest? Oh, the tornado warning system that we test every Wednesday? I love that sound. The history of weather forecasting, specifically with tornadoes, started with using the same system the military used during World War II to detect enemy ships. The radar system was crude as it would get blocked by rain, but it still gave early warning signal detection. The early warnings may have just been a few minutes, but anything is better than nothing. Nowadays, citizens have about 30 minutes in advance according to NOAA, or the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Dewey, 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 this is bad. Real bad. Dewey, can you please make a few models focused on tornado conditions? A tornado warning for a neighborhood near Springfield? Processing information. In moments where Dewey detects ingredients for severe weather, he and other supercomputers like him start looking for even the tiniest changes in the data from that area. I find a warning from Dewey on my radar about a tornado approaching a neighborhood. I need to send this to the news. This is breaking news. We have just received reports from the meteorologist and from Dewey that a tornado is approaching a neighborhood near Springfield, Illinois. Thank you, news reporter. We are showcasing a severe thunderstorm with evidence of tornado formation. We ask that everyone get indoors and get as low as possible, preferably in your basement if you have one. The tornado touches down, causing significant damage to the warned area. But just as fast as it formed, it breaks apart and turns back into a thunderstorm. The tornado has dissipated and the storm has moved on, but Dewey's job is not over. Dewey, you got the news out in time. There were no injuries during the tornado. Yes, my models are helping. And next time I can be faster. And here are the next week's forecast. <laughs>